Welcome back to Like Cookies, it's Ili, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to add a third person camera zoom in your game using Blender Game Engine. First, open the Blender Game Engine and Shift A to add an empty and a camera. Alt R to clear the rotation, and I will split my screen like this and like this. And this here will be the text editor, and I will numpad zero here to enter in camera view. I will adjust my camera here. Something like this. When you are finished with the camera adjusting, we have to set the empty object as a parent of the camera. So we're doing this by selecting first the child object, then the parent object, and then pressing Ctrl P and selecting object. Now if I select only the empty and scale it down or up, you can see that the distance between the two objects change. So we can use the scaling of the empty in order to zoom in and out from the camera's target. Alright, also considering that I will go here to Logic Editor and also considering that we will zoom in and out with our mouse wheel, with my empty selected I will add two mouse sensors and the first one will be wheel up, the second one will be wheel down. I will also change their names because I will use them later. So this will be zoom in and the second one will be guess what? Zoom out. Next I have a Python controller and I will connect it with both of the sensors. I will have to use a script here, so I will create a new one, create a new script, and don't worry, uh, there's nothing to be afraid of, it will be a very simple one, a few lines of code and a very beginner friendly script. So nothing to be afraid of. This will be named camzoom.py. Zoom. And the first thing we want to enter in our script is to import logic. So it goes like this, from BGE import logic. We need logic because by using it we can address a few things that we need. And the first of which is the controller of the script. So cont for controller equals to logic dot get current controller and this here is the controller of the script so the controller that the script belongs to so this one this controller next when we have the controller we can we can uh, get the object the empty we can get the controller's owner so we have on equals controllers owner. As simple as that. Now as we have the object, we can access everything related to the object. And we started with these two because just because we need the sensors. All right, so in order to access the sensors, we will have zoom in or whatever you want here. And then we have to type on. Okay, the logic here goes like this. We have the object and then everything that belongs to it. So including the sensors. So we have first the object, then dot sensors. And then we can specify using the name of the sensor which sensor we want to use. So in our case, the first one is zoom in. 
make sure that this and this are the same then I can and I will copy this line and I will change it so it's related to the other sensor all right now as we have the object and the sensors we can make our script I will save it first and we can start with the logic now so the logic of the game should be if I zoom in scale down the empty okay so we can indicate the zoom in and zoom out with these two sensors so if I zoom in this will return this will turn to positive if I zoom out the same goes with this one all right so if zoom in so this sensor dot positive so if the sensor is triggered then we want to scale down the object we address the object as own so own scaling scaling of the object will be decreased by a vector with some size the size initially let's say will be 1 in x 1 in y and 1 in z I use vector I am using vector so this reminds me that I have to actually import it so from math utils import vector with sorry with a capital V all right and else so if the sensor is not triggered we will just pass now if I press 0 to enter the camera view and if I add something visible to the scene let's say an icosphere I will make a material to it something bright and if I press P to play and zoom once you can see that the icosphere disappeared now why is that? well by default when you add something to blender's 3d view it has a scaling of one by one by one and now if we have our default empty with its default scaling here one by one by one and we subtract from it a vector with the same size we get zero by zero by zero so a zero ve vector and that's why we see nothing when we scroll up once we fix this if we fi if we simply fix this or change this size I will make it I will change it to own dot scaling times 0 0.5 what this will do it will always cut by 2 the current size of the empty object so if the size of the empty is 2 by 2 by 2 currently and I scroll up it will decrease to 1 by 1 by 1 and if it's 1 by 1 by 1 and I scroll up it will go down to 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 so this way it will never go down to 0 now we can do the same thing for the zooming out Control V and here I will make it elif because I want this whole thing to be a whole block a whole logical block and uh, first I want to check one of the conditions then if it's not if it does not turn 
if you check the next one and then the next one and then the next one until there are no more conditions so I have to change this to zoom out and the scaling here will increase and not decrease in the previous one and let's have the same vector here same vector is fine all right so if I test this you can see that I can zoom in I can zoom out but you can see that I can zoom in and zoom out infinitely we can fix this if we have a zooming limit like a minimum zooming limit and a maximum zooming limit so mean limit will be let's say 0 0.7 and max limit will be let's say 4 all right so now we will use this here if we zoom if we scroll up the sensor will be triggered but we can also check if the size of the empty so on dot scaling is greater than minimum limit all right so if I scroll up and the scaling of the empty is above this number then I can scale down even one of these two conditions if if even one of these two returns false this will not be executed all right so let's make the same thing for the scale uh, for the zoom out so if I zoom out with my mouse wheel and the own scaling is is less than the maximum limit then then zoom out if it is equal to ma to the maximum limit or exceeds the maximum limit then the, the zooming out will stop let's see if this is true all right I forgot something that here we have on scaling returns a vector so it has th three di dimensions and we compare it to a single number so in in order to equate the the types of data I will just pick the first element of the vector so it has X and Y and Z and I will take the X and compare it to the minimum limit same goes here I will take the X which is the first element of the vector and compare it to the maximum limit all right so press P to play and zoom in and I am continu continuing to zoom in but nothing happens then I zoom out and I reach the limit obviously then zoom in and again reach the limit so that's about it for today's tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to hit me in the comment section below. See you next time.